Hey, how it's going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so as you can see, the hair is now blue and it is actually blue. It's hard to tell in the light of my living room, <laughs> but it is actually blue. Uh, it's a very dark blue. This is the... This is the thing, the reason that I ordered the one that didn't work for me was because it would have been a aqua blue, a lighter blue, which it would have been more of a blue to begin with, um, though it probably would have faded <laughs> very quickly. Um, that That's the whole reason why I didn't automatically go for the ones in the make that I am more used to using. Um, just because I wanted a lighter colour blue and all of the ones that they had were like the darker blacker blues, metallic blues um, and you know something that was going to come out this very dark colour and um, Orion's Aura colour which is the whole reason for this is sky blue. Uh, aqua blue is a lot closer to sky blue uh, than any of the other choices that I was given. But this is the way that it's gone. Um, as for no doors allowed. I'm still waiting on the cover, so there's still no uh, ETA on when that is going to be ready yet. Unfortunately, um, my, as I said, as I keep, as I mentioned, my cover guy has got a lot of stuff going on at the moment, so I'm trying not to pester too much whilst he's sorting all of that out. Um, he doesn't need the stress, and you know, I'm a good enough friend to not want to add to his stress. As, as I said, if it comes out at the beginning of next year rather than the end of this year, so be it. That's fine. It's it's literally just waiting on the cover. I've I'm happy with the blurb, so I finished the blurb. Um, I've not uploaded the manuscript yet, and the reason I haven't uploaded the manuscript yet um, is just in case, because obviously I'm still editing my way through uh, We Giants, or studio, still doing lots of edits of We Giants, and um, if I spot anything that I want to check, double check, um, with no doors allowed, it's easier if I haven't uploaded the, the manuscript so that I can like, just do it the once and hopefully not have to do it again. <laughs> so that's the reason why I haven't uploaded like the manuscript yet, um, like I had with um, the two Dollmaker Sons books. At the, you know, at this uh, stage with the Dollmaker Sons books, um, I had both manuscripts uploaded, um, and I was just waiting for the cover for four months. Hopefully, I won't be waiting for months again. Um, I will give him another little nudge soon-ish. Um, but it's, you know, it's very much all dependent on, you know, him not being so stressed out by everything else that's going on at the moment. Because as I said, I just don't want to add to that. That's, it's not fair to add to that. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to not add to that. Um, so yeah, uh, it's looking more likely that No Doors Loud will be out at the beginning of next year rather than the end of this year, which is fine. I still managed to get two books out this year, which is still pretty good. Um, and hopefully... Hopefully I can get more than two books out next year with all the work that I'm currently doing. Um, fingers crossed it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, and We Giants is so much easier to edit through than No Doors Allowed was just because it's so much shorter. I, mean, I, know, I know it's still a, a massive book but it's so much shorter so yeah fingers crossed hopefully um, it, you know however, however many books that come out next year will be however many books that come out next year will, it will pan out however it pans out. Um, obviously I almost definitely too because you've got um, No Doors Allowed and We Giants. Uh, no Doors Allowed is literally ready to go apart from the cover. We Giants is probably the one that next closest and it's certainly the one I want to release next um, just because it makes the most sense to be the next release so that I can like tie a bow into that series and then start releasing books for the What Makes Me, which is the the first of the spin-off series, is, um, which I've also been editing through, not at the same sort of pace, but like through through in the background. And because they're much shorter books, um, once I can like start concentrating more on those rather than on the rather than on We Giants, which is where most of my focus is at the moment. Fingers crossed. Hopefully that will 
I'll go nice and quickly and yeah so potentially six books coming out next year to make up for not getting three books out this year um I mean I'm still like there's still like a tiny tiny bit of hope that I might be able to get the cover before the end of the year but as I said with how things have been for my cover guy at the moment I would much rather let him just get through this and then start fresh in the new year once things are hopefully a little less stressful for him rather than get something that's not necessarily at the standard that he would be happy with because he's got so much else going on and I know he's a bit of a bit of a perfectionist so I would rather let him get through the stress and not not add to that um so it's a little bit disappointing that I'm not getting it out probably not getting it out before the end of this year but I would you know it is what it is and I'm just gonna be positive about it and be like okay fingers crossed six books next year let's let's go <laughs> um so that means i need to start planning out my promotions for next year for the free book promotions or alternatively if i put all of the books to the 1.99 price uh the half price book promotions although the one that i did do of that wasn't very successful so I know we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see I might experiment a little bit more uh, with my various options in the year at the moment it is still just an Everton books which are at the slightly high price I'm contemplating putting them all up to that price um, since nothing I do seems to make much of a difference at the moment so why not just give it a try see see how things go see what happens because um, I can always so it's because here's the thing here's the thing the um because i can go in and edit that price when i want to go in and edit that price i can always do a half price promotion whenever um so i can always like flip the price down when i want to do a promotion for a few days and then flip the price back up once it finishes um whereas the free book promotion um and the half price promotion that they do or the discounted promote i don't remember what they call it promotion that you can do through uh kdp um you can only do one of those during a cycle so you can either do the free book or you can do the half price you can't do both um so it makes more sense to do the free book option and then afterwards like manually do your own <laughs> than it does to just go okay I'm going to do the, the half price option and see where that gets me um, but it, it does take more planning and, and self-organization and the annoying thing with it is that um, it takes a while for the price to adjust on the system whereas if you let them do it it does it automatically when you want it to start so yeah, there, there are a few reasons why it's not the most ideal way of doing it, but it might be something worth experimenting with, like saying it's a half price for saying that it's gone down to this price for however many days and then manually sort of like flipping it back and probably like losing a little bit from the beginning and gaining a little bit from the end because it's, as I said, it's the, the way the system works. Um, so yeah, there, I've got a few plans how I can do some interesting promotions in the new year um or try different things in the new year promotion wise and i need to sort of start thinking seriously about that because um three of the books are in their next cycle <laughs> and i need to start um i need to start actually allocating when their promotional stuff is going to be before the their cycle ends that and I lose that particular one. I mean, um I had two of the colours I see the promos were really close together because I didn't realise I was in a new cycle until the, almost the end of that cycle and then was able to sort of like almost stack them. I think they're like less than a month apart. Um and that wasn't intentional. I just wasn't paying enough attention to what was going on um so yeah that's that's very much uh very much how things stand at the moment um no doors allowed apart's probably not coming out until the beginning of next year just because you know i 
<laughs> I'm not a mean enough person to want to put more stress on my cover guy right now. Um, I will I will have a talk with him at some point, probably in the next couple of days, to let him know what I'm thinking about it because you know I, I really should keep him informed um, and let him know that it's okay. You know, if we push it back to the beginning of next year, just so that because I, I I know um, I know he's like a lot of the stuff that usually happens around this time of the year, uh, provided that he can do a lot of things that he can do around this time of the year, he's probably not going to have the time to, to get anything done at this point anyway, so I'm just going to say, look, it's fine, we'll push it back to the beginning of next year, um, let's say the end of January, um, and hopefully that will work, that will work out better for both of us. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to make the decision and kind of go okay we'll push it back to the end of January everything is ready apart from the cover and January that's that's fine we we can we can do that I don't want to put like too much of a deadline like I say like this exact date but I say the end of January that probably works out quite well I will still probably go ahead with doing a hyena boy and the colors I see promos during January um, in preparation for the release of the third book, um, and then maybe do an Echo one in February. Yeah, that, that all sounds pretty good. It's provided that I've remembered when things are getting their next cycles correctly, I should be able to get that to work out quite nicely. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be optimistic about this one. <laughs> And instead of going, oh, I, you know, fingers crossed, maybe I can get out by the end of the year. I think, no, I think, and I know I've like literally made this decision across the course of this vlog. Um, as it happens sometimes when you're sort of like actively thinking about things and sort of like discussing it with yourself, which is very much what I do during these vlogs sometimes. Um, I think the most sensible decision to do at this point is to kind of go, okay. Let's not add any stress to somebody who's already very stressed out and, and you know, move the pressure off and kind of go, hey, can we get it done by the end of January instead? Um, just because I know, I know this, this, like the next couple of weeks is probably going to be completely lost for him anyway. So we might as well kind of go, OK, let's draw a line under that. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not getting a third book out this year like I originally planned. It is, it is ready to go, it is literally just the cover side of things, and that's, that's you know, that's fine. Um, just, I'll just keep going, going for what I'm, what I'm doing, and keep going with where, how things are for everything else. And then hopefully, Noodles Allowed will be out by the end of January, and then We Giants will be out by the end of March. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Um, like to aim for the end of March with Wee Giants because it is slightly easier to get through but I also know I need to start concentrating more when I'm editing um because I've had so much else to do at the moment I've not been concentrating on it as much uh, I've just been letting the voice reader kind of let it play and, and getting on with, with other things whilst it's in the background um so I know I'm not catching as many mistakes as I should like that but to be fair I did do that a few times with um, when I was going through the colours I see as well. So it, it's usually like those last few, it's like, because when you're sort of like listening to it, you're, you're learning more about the story and you're getting into your head, oh, okay, that's a place where I can make a change for this, that's a place where I can make a change. You, you do get to know the story pretty well by doing it like that, but you also miss a lot of mistakes. So usually my last few edit throughs, that's when I really focus, really hyper focus, really like, watch every single word as much as I possibly can um, just to, you know, catch any sort of final mistakes. Um, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, I can get it done by the end of March, but again, it's all dependent on, and even if it's I've just finished all the editing by the end of March, that'd be quite good, maybe. <laughs> well, yeah. I wonder if I can I can aim to get a book finished every two months, maybe. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see how next year goes. We'll very much see how next year goes. Um, as I said, fingers crossed, I can get six books out next year. Um, 
and then I, I know what's happening the year after and, and stuff like that. If not, maybe aim for full books. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe try to double what I did last year. I think definitely aim to double what I did la this year. <laughs> I'm saying last year already. It's not even a new year yet. I think definitely aim to try to double the two books that I managed to release this year. Um, and, and try to get four next year. And then, then we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. All right. Okay. So I think I've... I think I've made a lot of decisions during this vlog. <laughs> Alright, okay, so um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. Um, I, I hope you at least know where I'm kind of at with um, all of the stuff that I've got going on at the moment. Um, you know, it's a bit disappointing for me personally that I don't get the third book out this year, but I think at this point it's going to be easier for me and for my cover guys, just draw a line under this year and kind of go, okay, let's try to aim for the end of January instead. And see how that goes. Uh, fingers crossed that's more reasonable at this point. Um, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.